What's good YouTube, Ben here, welcome to the next video on the channel. In this one, I finally got another tutorial for you guys, this is how to install the YouTube app on Windows 10 and 11. Let's get into this. Alright, so for those of you who are running like lower power systems, who have trouble with the browser version of YouTube, especially on more modern browsers that do eat quite a lot of RAM, there are some that don't, but then YouTube doesn't perform as good. There is a way to get a YouTube app on Windows 10 and 11. Now, it's funny really, because when you think app, the first thing you think of on Windows is Microsoft Store. Now, if you go into the store and type in YouTube, what will pop up is like a bunch of, you know, apps like this that whilst do what they say on the tin, they're also not free. They're like, they're, they're, they're free to download, but then as you can see, it says right here, in-app purchases. Why? Like, why? <laughs> Why, why should you pay money to watch YouTube? I mean, don't get me wrong, I have YouTube Premium, but that's different. That's just to remove ads. But this will have ads all over it that you then have to pay to remove, but then you don't get rid of YouTube ads unless you're Premium. Anyway, it's weird. Anyway, we're getting ahead of ourselves here. Straight to the point. So, no YouTube in the YouTube Microsoft Store. And of course, like I said, you can use browser, but again, not everyone has the ability to do so, especially with underpowered systems. So what you want to do is get to Microsoft Edge. Now, this is installed on every copy of Windows 10 11. So you don't have to worry about, you know, I did not need to close the browser, whoops. Um, you don't have to worry about not having it because you'll always have Edge installed on a fresh copy of Windows 10 or 11. So we'll open Edge and we're going to go straight to YouTube. Now when you get to YouTube and the page is fully loaded, you'll see in the top right here it says install YouTube app. It'll pop up for a second but then you click this, it's like a little Windows thing with a plus thing in the top right corner. That's what you want. Click that and hit install. Now it doesn't actually take very long. And there we go. Now you have the YouTube app. <laughs> it's actually pretty cool. And you can create a desktop shortcut, allow, and there you go. That's YouTube. It's a full app that is baked in. You can search for videos. Let's search for videos. Whilst we're searching for videos, you know, you could go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's like right here. You know, it's, it's not hard to do. But go straight to channel and it plays just like normal YouTube does. I don't really want to listen to myself, but thank you. So yeah, that's basically how you install the YouTube app on Windows 10 11. And it's a full-fledged app. It's not like a link to the browser version of it or anything. It's a full-fledged app. <laughs> so for more underpowered systems or ones that, you know, like, I don't know, like Microsoft Surface tablets where people prefer to use tablet mode with apps, there you go. It's like Disney Plus or Netflix. It's just a full-fledged app. But yeah, let me know what you think about this video in the comments down below. Don't forget you can also support the channel further by becoming a channel member from as little as 99 pence per month here in the UK. And don't forget I do live stream when I go live. I go live right here on YouTube and over on Twitch usually, but I can't at the minute. Uh, PC issues. But when I do go live uh, on YouTube, if you want to watch those streams, don't forget to subscribe, turn on notifications. And if you want to catch my streams on Twitch when I can go live there again, don't forget, that link is also down below in the description. Go follow me over there. Thank you for watching today's video. You can hit the button on the right to subscribe to the channel. You can hit the button on the left to watch the previous video. Don't forget to like and comment on this video to help boost it in the algorithm. And don't forget, you can also support me further by becoming a channel member. Thank you again, and I'll see you in the next one.